Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, May 2nd. Quite an active weather pattern continues for much of the eastern half of the nation over the next few days. It looks like here in the Mid-Atlantic region we'll uh, most likely get some heavy rainfall between now and the latter part of the weekend. In fact, there's probably about three different opportunities for some heavy rainfall. Uh, later on this afternoon into the early evening hours, it could be a round of showers and thunderstorms. A cold frontal system arrives tomorrow night, Friday night. It looks like that could have some showers and thunderstorms associated with it. And then perhaps the best opportunity for some heavy rainfall will come over the upcoming weekend as low pressure develops along this meandering frontal boundary zone. And uh, the heavy rain threat, especially in the overnight hours on Saturday night going into Sunday morning, for much of the Mid-Atlantic region. It looks like low pressure will cause another round of rain for the Mid-Atlantic region. In the later Saturday, early Sunday time frame, from late Saturday into early Sunday, and again, the heavy rainfall potential really exists, I think, for overnight hours of uh, a Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Let's first start off by looking at the surface map. Backdoor cool front came through yesterday uh, and then uh, sold out down across the uh, northern part of Maryland, northern part of Virginia, and here it is this morning. It will make a move to the north and east as a warm front over the next several hours, and temperatures should jump noticeably, and skies should become partly sunny. Right now we're kind of foggy, drizzly in many parts of the I-95 corridor region, from D.C. to Philly to New York City. Clouds should give way to some sun. Temperatures should jump this afternoon, probably all the way into the mid-80s in the D.C. metro region, maybe the lower 80s in Philly, mid-70s possible in New York City. Then there should be uh, some development of showers and thunderstorms in the uh, warmer air, the more unstable air mass, later this afternoon into the early evening hours, probably between the hours of 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. There will be some showers and thunderstorms around across eastern Pennsylvania, northeastern Maryland, the Delmarva Peninsula, maybe even into New Jersey or so, so we'll have to watch for that. Then this frontal system works its way across the region later tomorrow, tomorrow night, stalls out and allows low pressure to move right up over that boundary zone for the upcoming weekend. Well, in terms of the latest radar loop, not much going on in terms of rainfall in Philly, D.C., New York City. There's some drizzle around, but for the most part, rain-free conditions right now. This is the area to watch for the next several hours. This patch of showers and embedded thunderstorms over West Virginia looks like it'll hold together. And again, our atmosphere will become more unstable after the passage of the warm front with temperatures jumping into the 80s in many parts of the I-95 corridor. So this area has a pretty good shot and making it all the way across the mountains and into the I-95 Carter region right in here during the mid late afternoon hours going into the early evening hours. So a pretty good chance of showers and thunderstorms in the warm air later this afternoon. Temperatures again reaching potentially 85 degrees in D.C., low to mid 80s in Philly, and 75 degrees on the table for later today across New York City. Well, let's now take a look at the surface forecast maps from last night's 6E GFS model run. First of all, wanna, <coughs> excuse me, wanted to first point out this area of moisture right off of the Florida coastline. Indeed, this is kind of a tropical-like wave. I don't think it will become a named system, but it certainly will impact Florida with some rainfall over the next 24 hours or so. Again, maybe the first tropical-like wave of the season moving from the Bahamas, drifting over Florida over the next... 12 to 24 hours or so starting off today. Nothing more than some drizzle in the D.C., Philly, New York City corridor. But let's move ahead here. That area of showers and thunderstorms now over West Virginia. Looks like it'll make it across the mountains and probably hold together enough to produce some showers and thunderstorms uh, mid to late afternoon into the early evening hours across northern Maryland, northern Virginia, maybe the Delmarva, southeastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey as well. Then overnight tonight, that same frontal system is allowed to drop back down as a backdoor cool front again. We'll turn a little bit cooler again on Friday with the east wind in many parts of the I-95 car region. And then this cold frontal system that will uh, set up over the Ohio Valley early tomorrow 
arrives here late in the afternoon, early evening. This again, that's the next cool frontal system. Showers, thunderstorms, the threat increases late tomorrow, early tomorrow night. With that front, that stalls out and allows for this area of moisture to ride up and over that frontal boundary zone for the upcoming weekend. Let's move forward here. Here we go now by Saturday morning. Frontal system, hard to tell on this map, but it's kind of stalled out right in this region right here. A pretty vigorous uh, low pressure area will form over the Tennessee Valley. Head to the north and east, and here we go, uh, moving in by Saturday evening. Certainly looks like it, this is a later Saturday, uh, especially Saturday night, and into Sunday morning type of rain event. Heavy rainfall potentially in the overnight hours of Saturday night going into Sunday morning. And here we go, even the GFS is depicting such a scenario here. Late Saturday night with some heavy rainfall across much of uh, Pennsylvania here, low pressure just south of the D.C. metro region late Saturday night, and that moves off. Rain continues into Sunday morning. Our indications that it pulls out of here later Sunday. Maybe we could salvage the latter part of the day on Sunday after that overnight heavy rainfall. And again, rainfall looks like it will hang on during the morning hours on Sunday, but some clearing, at least some drier conditions are possible late Sunday and certainly going into Sunday night. And of course, by the time we go back to work, in the clear again here in the Mid-Atlantic region, it looks like Monday and Tuesday, quite nice days indeed. But between now and then, some heavy rainfall likely in the Mid-Atlantic region. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Orion.